so hello one welcome back to another class of nssp combined uniform service so this is a continuation of ms excel spreadsheet so let us start with the class last class one question number two of the crochet let us start from question number 13 so before i start my class i like to announce this mock test so if you're interested in mock test the link is provided here you can register which will be very helpful for your nssp preparation so let us start with the class that is question number 13 in order to check the spelling check spelling of a text in ms powerpoint we use Geza. so this is powerpoint question so uh, ms excel to be same as a or ms powerpoint or ms word to be same as a so shortcut to same as a ms excel or ms powerpoint to be so to shortcut to same as a so here what will be the answer is it a f7 b alt plus shift plus l c alt plus click or d shift plus f7 so last class if you have attended my ms word class one other there uh, spelling check la purisha here the shortcut was what f7 so ms powerpoint or ms excel will be same as a that is f7 is the answer let us see so one key there f7 the bow spelling check the go and it will manually job a little we go to review and spelling in excel so this is the shortcut for spelling check so i hope you got this let us go to the next question question number 14 which of the following is a valid ms excel function is it a 8 bracket bracket b minus c sum or d subtract so what is the answer the answer is what is sum one already policy uh, for example one b1 the b4 policy is equal to sum and uh, b1 plus b2 plus b3 are bracket close correlated we get the answer for example 180 so this is the function that is sum so i hope you have understood this let us go to the next question touch in ms excel is a visual representation of data in both columns and rows so columns are rows to visual representation means photo but represent good case is it a table b chart c uh, b pictures c chart or d line what is the answer so visual representation though it is done by what it is done by chart that is option number c let's take a look at the ms excel but in our visual representation query so in excel chart is used to make a geographical uh, graphical representation of any set of data for example the kigwe to ekta chart banaje means ekta table banaje do visually kina represent grow through the use of charts that is pie chart will be bar chart will be aro donut chart will be aro kigi kigwe pie chart kon will be you can represent this through this charts so i hope you have understood this let us go to the next question question number 16 what touch are often used in ms excel to find out if there's a relationship between variable x and y so x and y are variable the kina channel is it a combo b scatter plots c d 3d columns or d pivot charts so what is the answer the answer is for example x and y are relation between x or y the chart the x or y uh, means uh, x axis the x or y it will relationship to kina janeo for example straight uh, means uniform motion or other we denote by straight line so it will kina kina denote gray through the use of scatter plots so let us study about these scatter plots a scatter plots denotes a correlation that exists between two variables when one of them is related to the other in some way so for example data a or b so it do y axis as well or the x axis it can plot growth through the use of scatter plots i hope you have understood something or it do scatter plots the one kina be circular through the use of charts so let us go to the next question so let us go to the next question question number 17 which shortcut is used to move to the previous worksheet for example the worksheet do it as an excel excel one excel two for example let's take a look at it 
Excel sheet to. So, itu nishna tu Excel sheet alak pana naza. So, tu kina udu sheet te jawa. What is the shortcut to move to the previous sheet? Is it A. Alt plus page up, control plus page up, C. Control plus page down, or D. Shift plus tab. So, what is the shortcut? Shortcut to kiaza. The answer is control plus page up is the answer. Option number B. So, I hope you have understood this. Let us go to the next question. In MS Excel, highlighting sales rule come under which fall, which of the following pen? So, highlighting sales rule the case. That is, for example, take the table banana. RP, suppose, for, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, theta 4, do, 3, suppose, yeah, the 20, 6, 7, or 9. So, you do, to a red color, the tally humujaza. Or do yellow de, or do blue de, or do nine do suppose green de. To a color alag lag chola humujaza to shading do. So we do kundi kundu kundu bok kuro bok comment ba. Is it a format as table, b cell styles, c conditional formatting, or d none of this? So what is the answer? The answer is conditional formatting. Option number c. Let's take a look at this. For example, uh, these are the sum of the names of the Pokemon and type as a so you don't get one alak lak color ba denon chromogen. So through the use of conditional formatting to a color alak lak denon curbora for different types of uh, numbers. So you do condition you do ki koi conditional formatting koi. So I hope you have understood this. Let us go to the next question. In an Excel sheet, the active sale is indicated by Kiaza. So, for example, to the Excel sheet, to the sheet, it will be clicked. So, it will click on the Taikina decay. Click on the active sale. So, it will indicate. Is it a transparent border? B. A dark white border? C. Blinking border? Or D. By italic text? So, what is the answer? The answer is option number B, that is a dark white border. So let us take a look at this, how we see this. So for example, to Excel the Jadam de Twe Kita Yete click grow, it will be denoted denoted by a dark white border, uh black border. Allah kondo transparent as a but it will all look dark as a so this is denoted by a dark white border. So the answer is option number B. So I think you have understood this. Let us go to the next question. In MS Excel, val hash value refers to case. Is it a value addition of value? B subscript of a number value. C error in value or D font value. So hash value money case means hash value it okay as a supposed to formula the galti as so the MS Excel will denote this by the use of this hash value means to formula ulta bolta dalise so obviously computer baby ko ki ti ulta kam kore ja so this will be denoted by hash value so let us study this so for example ito the hash value refers to error in value for example apple it is chart is actually apple banana cherries ton tomato inga so to kita enter guru to suppose ulta bolta enter guru ja so instead of showing you the totals for example the sum bisaro le try kore ja holi be they add corona kumba number missing as a so you you'll be shown with this error value that is hash value so this is a error in value so i hope you understood this chalo next question grow in ms excel which of the following character is used to make a full cell reference so full cell reference to kiba indicate gray for example like the poor selector reference marum jaze uh, while putting the formula so is it a percentage b dollar sign c n and d hash to kiwa kundu character ba denote gray so what will be the answer the answer is dollar sign that is option number b let us study about this so for example to a uh, 50 to denote chromogeza so 
using this dollar sign you will indicate the cell using the dollar sign it was so i hope you have understood this let us go to the next question in an excel worksheet by default text are a touch aligned is it a center justify left or right so for example to to uh, table there to data enter grazer so kita to suppose text for example team gonna delete so it do tai yate thagona tai tai right the thagona tai center the thagona tai nijor self align ho gona ko ase tala position the ki ho gona ko ase so what will be the answer the answer will be left that is text connect to left over number connect to it will be right so question for example ala question ashi ki number the ki na align ko shikle it will be right so let's take an example so for example the worksheet the sales or expenses to it the text as so it do left at the go leave number kando it will be in right so you have understood this let us go to the next question which of the following is a valid cell reference in a spreadsheet so cell reference kane kundu as a spreadsheet the valid to so is it option a a b hash then option number b then a b c a b dollar sign then dollar sign or d dollar sign c d dollar sign d so cell reference to mon already jane ki ba dinner kore dollar sign ba so the answer will be option number d that is hotai reference kore ne dollar sign go c d or dollar sign go na udo number 10 rows or columns to so with this it option number d to correct asa so let us go to the final question of the day the final question for today is in a chart touch is a collection of data points and generally corresponds to an existing data in a single row or column it can be series of columns bars or series of squares or a cross connected to each other by a line is it a data level b data table c data series or d legend so kiza the answer is option number c that is data series let us study about the various definition of this data label the case of little helps understand data series in ms excel data table the case range refers to range of cell where data is can be modified data series to refers to a collection of data in rows and columns which are entered in ms excel charts and legends to for identifying the data in ms excel the legend is used in color size and other features so with this the video has to come to an end Thank you guys and all the best for exam.